Hey up everyone and welcome to Yorkshire Trader Traders. I'm Bob and today I thought I'd give a little bonus video because I've just picked up a bundle of vintage items from a friend of mine who's clearing out his uh, his parents house. They've moved to the coast in a caravan and he's been given the house and it's just full to the rafters of vintage items from his grandma right far back to the from I'd say from the 1920s upwards. So there's a, there's a big mix of there. I've already bought loads of stuff of him in the past and he said to come over because he's got a few extra stuff. I wasn't expecting much. I paid £50 for this box full of stuff, which I'm going to show you now. And um, yeah, um, if you see anything, guys, uh, if you, you can help me out with anything, because obviously a lot of the stuff, you've, you have never seen it before. You, even if you Google lens it, if you, you Google it, there's not a lot of, st of this sort of stuff out there just wait for the train so yeah um let's start off with the good stuff or one of the good stuff that i picked up which was um this oliver badges oliver and company disney oliver and company badges that you got with the cat food kitty cat and pal dog food um and here they are is a full set um yep there's the uh, dog i thought it was lady and the tramp at the first but it's uh oliver and there's the uh fellow himself so yeah there's a full set i think of seven animals uh dogs and cats there's the uh, poodle one as well um somebody did sell them on uh, ebay for six of them for 25 pounds so i'm probably going to put it on for 25 pounds for the seven set and then there's two extra ones which i might stick together for five or say um so that's 30 pound already from my uh next is a couple of pewter like uh fish uh, uh pins and i looked on the back and it says js brown and uh, there's a number this is number 41 um i've looked that up too and uh yeah i think they're quite collectible there's another one here that's number four little tiny one and then this one doesn't have anything on the back, but I'll just bundle it with it, I think. Uh, so th these I'll probably get about a tenner for, surprisingly enough. And then there's an array of uh, other old badges. There's like a, um, what's this, an ocean liner, HSS, Stena line. I um, don't know how old this is. By the way, guys, a lot of this stuff is going to be very, very mucky. Um, his grandma had um, an agar, so a lot of the... Uh, coal dust and stuff like that got into the cracks um where are we here a little owl enamel badge there's a frog one there get that to focus nah it won't focus but anyway so yeah that's the kind of thing that's in there uh, there's a sooty one there and a little sooty i think that's a bit of um staining which is a shame but that's his uh, 2004 on the back. So that's like a little rubber thing. Um, yeah, and there's just some uh, random like horse. There's like a shire horse there and there's a lion there. Um, I know that his grandma did collect a lot. That's upside down. Did collect a lot of um, uh, charity shop type pins, um, which I'd already bought a long time ago. Uh, next thing I bought is five of these ceramic gnomes um i was pretty much just grasping at things thinking you never know i can try it 50 quid it's not going to break the bank and like i say i knew there were a few little gems in there that i could um, uh, get the money back for for and make a decent profit so i think there's five of these um i thought they were new but when i opened them up it looked like they're just taking them out of garden and put them back in boxes but i think this guy is new because he's still in a yeah this guy's new there he is um i don't know whether the, um it's probably 90s i'd say these are um the cheap place um not, not like expensive or anything so i don't know about them and uh, yeah so there's five of them all together um there's um i love to buy uh, I've picked up loads and loads of tins from this uh, from my friend's house 
and I've made a lot of money on tins. Uh, inside this tin there was this little guy, I've Google lensed him, I can't find anything. Um, it looks like he's Bakelite maybe, or Cellulite. Um, uh, it looks like he comes apart, there's a crack in his body there, in the yellow bit, which is a shame. But I think he's probably going to be uh, 50s or 60s. Um, yeah, if anybody's got any information on that, there's no writing on it. I think he may be like a Kinder Eggy type. There's that guy there, I don't know, he could be worth something. Uh, there's loads of these uh, paints, Airfix paints, in the, uh, there's a few of these in here. I'm guessing that these have dried up now, I don't think these will be worth. Still wet. Oh, that's got a seal on it, so that's probably brand new maybe. Yeah, they've got, I think it's solid inside though. So, yeah, there's a few of those in there. I hadn't even looked in these ones, these things. Some little jars with the corks in. A lot of them. Uh, somebody might buy them. Wedding favours, you can put a couple of those together. There's about five of them. And, uh, yeah, some just bits of paint. So not much there. Uh, what else have we got? I've got this. As I can say, a lot of things have been in cupboards and uh, they're covered in soot and muck. But this is called an automatic tea dispenser. The Caddymatic. Um, obviously the, the packaging is bust. But the, uh, let's have a look at it. It's just a bit. I don't know whether that's probably worth anything. Oh, that's not a nice sound. Um, is that attached to the wall in some way? Fixed bracket to wall, there you go. So yeah, that's... I don't know whether that's worth anything, probably not. It's just a bit of plastic. I can't get it back in the box. Uh, not this tin. Uh, Simmers Bakery, Baker's Choice. It's not that old, it's got a barcode on the bottom, that's how you can tell. Um, but I did pick up these um, Archer Transistor Intercom. So it's just a long wire between these two um, like speak, like talking speakers. Put that down, and he did give me the box. Oh. And there's the box for it. Uh, so they'll go, I'll test them out first, I'll put some batteries in, um, give them a clean, and yeah, there's the box, look how old that is. So I don't know whether that'll go for anything, probably not. Much. Um, an old tambourine, that's seen better days, but you never know, it looks like it's 1950s, 60s, um, maybe some worth in there. This is, still works fine. Um, I've got some pressed glass bowls. I know that um, you can tell because they're a lot heavier and the, the edges are a lot sharper. And there's no seams, I think that's how you go by. Um, I'm not too sure, I'm not a glass expert or anything, but this I thought was pressed glass, which is older than normal. Um, and I also got another bowl of them, I think, as well. Yeah, this one as well, which I think like a little uh, posy bowl or something uh, but yeah these two um, I don't know maybe 10, 10 pound each something like that I've got a, a selection of books um, Carrie's War I think that's uh, just, that's 73 1973 that one uh, this one's pretty interesting can't find this anywhere what am I um, it looks like it's um, a work book, you know, like questions uh, for doing for doing school work in some way. Uh, writing on the back, but um, what's the date on it? Uh, 1972, Margaret Greaves. So yeah, that looks like it's from the 70s as well, doesn't it? 
I got this one from the Puffin, Young Puffin, Little Bear. That's seen better days. But I don't know what date that is. Sorry guys. Just uh, 19... Oh, oh. Published in Puffy Books 1983. Yeah, 1983 that one. I've got a Narnia book, I don't know, I can bundle it together, and a Galapagos, I can't say that guys, you read it, uh, The Dream Time, I don't know, it's some kind of like travel book, I thought it was a Galapagos, but it's not is it, anyway I picked that up too, uh, another one that's a random kitchen alien type thing, Looks pretty old. It's uh, Spike Murphy, the Wonder Potato Baker. <laughs> and look at that. And that's new in package. Guessing it's a little, there you go, look. It's like a little tray that you put your potatoes on and stick it in the oven. You never know. You never know, people might collect these sorts of things. I got some alcohol bottles. I know that they can be quite collectible, these alcohol bottles. Got this one, um, Mary Brizard. I've no idea, guys, no idea. I've uh, got a Bacardi, I think that's pretty modern. Um, probably 90s or something like that. I've uh, got a. Sorry about the uh, train again. Uh, like a brandy, I think. There's another one, Drambuie. Little bottle. Cognac, that's not sealed up. Martel Cognac, no idea guys, no idea. Like I say, it could all be recycled if it's not worth anything. I thought I might as well try it for nothing. And there's a couple of little brandies here as well, little bottles. Um, but there may be collectors out there. Quick cup of tea. And a wine brand as well, a little bottle, a little jug. Uh, where's the best one? This one. A West Country Cream British Sherry. It's like a koala holding onto a branch. If you can see that. That looks pretty cool. That might be collectible, I have no idea. Um, now this brand should be looking out. Guys should be looking out. I've got I've got a lot of these from him already and I sold these for good money but they, there were still some broken ones and I think they might still sell uh, so these these are called Yeah Dragons um, yeah uh, from the um, 80s I think and yeah they're really collectible uh, he's got an ear missing here there's a section missing here so this is why I left it I, I used to go periodically I've, I've um, Every every few months, I used to go over to his uh, to the house and grab a bundle of stuff, and I pass by all this kind of things. But now I'm picking it up because I think if it's cheap enough, why not? You know, I might get a tenner for it. You know, if this was pristine, I'd probably get about forty, fifty pound for this. Um, so you never know; somebody might want it. A bit of bubble wrap. Some. Uh, Silk handkerchief or scarves. Guy sent on her. No idea about that one. Oh, this one is interesting. It's a vintage. It did come with a big barn, but he said that the barn had disintegrated. Uh, but it's a vintage um, nativity set. Um, I don't know what it's made out of. It feels like plastic. Well, there you can see uh, the Angel Gabriel, is it? Oh. Um, oh, the legs are broken off of that. Is that? It's one of the wise men, maybe. There's a shepherd with his sheep on the on his shoulders. They do have a name on the very bottom. Germany. Germany. 
Germany. So that's a good sign. That's a good sign. And the uh, the camel was there. That is also stamped Germany. Yeah. And the uh, like a cow. Now look. Another wise man. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know whether they'll sell individually or how old they are, but they look um, like they may be. Uh, the donkey's a bit beaten up as well. There's the manger. Uh, I also got some bits of jewellery. There's this little piece here. None of it's silver. He kept all the silver, which I don't blame him. But I kept anything that was uh, looked interesting. A little swallow or swift uh, brooch there. And then this little locket. Um, yeah. So I don't know about that nativity set. That might go pretty well I got these two um, it just says Alda Adler Cadler Cadler England on the bottom of these cups there's two of them there's a Cancer and a Leo star signs um, picked them both up because as you can see they need a good clean uh, and they have got a bit of crazing on the uh, I don't know whether that picks up on the on the image but yeah, I thought, you never know, I bundle them together. Also picked up this fishing cup. Um, Hand-painted Keel Street Pottery, England. Um, just another thing. I check the rims, see if they're not chipped and stuff. And yeah, Keel Street Pottery, I've never looked it up before. So, as soon as I do, that's when I'll find out whether it's worth anything. Uh, picked up this little statuette of a cat these long neck cats I've seen a lot of um, there's a label over it there is a label but there's a sticker over the top of it I'd, and I want the label to tell me what it is steady oh, here we go All right Duron made in England it says Duron Duron, Duron, Duron. So yeah, it's got a little chip on the on the ear, I think. A little tiny chip on the ear. But other than that, it's pretty good. So that might be worth something. I don't know. I've never looked up Duron uh, pottery, but made in England. Good vibes are coming from that. Picked up a load of uh, like doilies. I don't know whether these are going to be worth anything. Um, doilies and, and lace I think that vintage lace is worth something um, so I've got a bag of that just to test out i got a bible holy bible look at that for a, a bookmark that's material mm. so yeah I don't know about anything about bibles either I don't pick them up often uh, this was interesting, a little silk scarf or handkerchief, but it says on it, is it this one? Oh yeah, there it is. It says, um, made in England, Liberty of London. So, pick that up, you never know, it, might, it probably is silk, feels like silk, um, kind of catches on your hands. Oh yeah, I forgot to say what was in this tin. A uh, little tin taxi. Oh, is it a racing car? I thought it was a taxi with it being yellow with the uh, checker pattern on. But it's a little tin toy. It's in pretty good nick, actually. Uh, so that might be worth something. I'll have to look that one up. Champion uh, Pirelli on it. How old is that? Tin toys. Uh, Universal tax. <laughs> Look how old that is. Let's keep digging. Okay, we've got this big frog money box. And it's full to the brim of old money. We've got um, shillings in there. Oh, that's a five pence, but that's a shilling. We've got a sixpence. 
And is it before 1940? I think it's 1948, whether it's uh, 1954. So it's not proper silver, not even half silver. But yeah, it's full to the brim. I'll have to empty it all out. But I just, I got it for the uh, frog, really. I think it looks very weird like. Uh, just reminds me of weird pottery. There's no marks on the bottom that I can see. But I'll Google lens it, see what, what comes up. I'll put the money back in for now. So that's maybe a good piece. Here's another one that's full of money. This is a piggy bank that you actually have to smash. So that's how old that is. Back in the day when you didn't want to get in and kids had them and you used to smash them. So that's what this is. And it's full of money as well. Um, I can't get into it. I don't know. I can't get the money out of it. But somebody might buy that. I have no idea. Don't know how much that is worth. Um, I picked up a beer mat. There was a lot of beer mats. A lot of them were mucky and uh, stained and stuff. This one's quite quite bad actually. Uh, but I thought, kind of dry. Uh, put your drink on the map, uh, like a vintage. Uh, be a mat. I don't know. Uh, there's another one. Uh, Book Bond Oxo Limited. The Brazilian blend into coffee. Book Bond there. Look. Needs a clean again, but um, the rim's all nice and um, chip free. Um, no cracks or anything. So it might sell. You never know. But this, remember, this is all, this is all for fifty pounds. So I can't really go wrong. I don't think. Three more books. Uh, Encyclopedia of Murder and uh, Benjamin Seal, Seagull, Doctors and Wives and Come Again Nurse like a comedy one. It looks like a come, um, carry on nurse type book. Yep, so that's them. I, I mean, I don't know. Like I say, I can donate them if they're not important. A pair of glasses. Um... Got these are mucky. Now look. How sixes are they? It does have a name on it. It says 44 alum. 44 alum. You probably can't see that, but it says it in that corner there. 44 alum. And on the bridge. Forty four. 12k22, I don't know, see, can't tell, I'm guessing it's not silver though, it won't be silver, but they're fancy enough, so you never know, and that's, that's the case, like I say, a lot, of, a lot of the things have just been shoved out of the way, miracle dot, it's like a little, came with a case, got some uh, colouring books these look like like a set of uh, words to say pictures and colours oh look but I think they're pretty old Collins when do, when do Collins do colouring books I think it's all colouring books to be fair it looks like a pack that you buy it's shrink wrapped up it's never been used. Got puppies to colour. Oh, look, look at that, Collins. Puppies to colour. Huh. I don't know. I don't think there's any market for them, but you never know. Like I say, guys, any of you uh, that know these kind of things, you know, into the vintage side of things, and know of any names or prices or all like that that you can help us out with, it'd be brilliant. Okay, don't get excited about this, it's not a codec, it's just a box full of stuff. Oh yes, yeah. this is where I just went a bit mad on the toys. This is some kind of weird Mickey Mouse. I don't I don't know. Uh, there's like a little uh, tin toy or metal toy. How old is that? Like a, an army jeep? There's a 
the wooden tractor. I picked up these pegs. There's about half a dozen to a dozen of these. Same made in England. Um, and I think they might be Bakelite. Uh, some of these definitely look Bakelite or Cellulite. This one especially, if you know anything about that sort of thing. That um, marbled pattern. So Bakelite pegs, you never know. There's like a body of a, an old car there. Uh, made in England. That's about all it says on there. So yeah, I don't know. Some a freaky doll face. Look at that. It's heavy. I think it might be put um like like uh, ceramic or something maybe painted ceramic. There's like a lead lion there or metal. Some of his lead. There's lots of these uh, metal toys. That, are, um, that have seen better days. Look, no legs on that one. There's this one that's got legs missing. I don't know whether there's a market for these. There's like a, a farmer guy there. He looks pretty con intact. And it says something on the bottom. I'm hoping it says Britain. I can't really read it at the moment. There's an old spinning top there. This is really old stuff, guys. An old uh, toy iron. Like a... I don't know. Crazy. But yeah, there's loads of these horses in here. There's a few horses anyway. But that one looks pretty intact. Yeah. Don't know nothing about these, obviously, guys. Yeah, there's loads of stuff in there. I'm not getting everything out. This video is probably going to be well long. Okay. So I've got this little uh, coin or medallion. It says... 18... Oh, come on. I don't know how to do it, get it to thing, but it says 1887 at the top, and it's got Victoria on the back. Don't know whether this has been made. Looks like it's been made. It's got a little bit of a chain and a pin attached to it. All right. I don't know. It might be worth a fortune for all I know. Uh, what else we've got? I think we're getting to the end of stuff now. Uh, I, I kept this uh, little cardboard box, um, I'm guessing it's some kind of, it says made in England on the bottom. But inside is just loads of watches. I've got this um, Bagpuss watch, it says 2000 on the bottom, so that's vintage. Uh, Bagpuss is collectible. I've got loads of these, like cat uh, watches. Uh, nothing special, I don't think. Uh, there's a there's a few of these actually. This one's got dogs going around it. And I've got another one that's got cats going around it. And then there's also the hell is that noise? I think it's the train. That is weird. What is that noise? I've never heard that before. Is this... Is this bloody watch? It's making a horrible sound. Look at that. Oh, that was out of my ears. I've got this little uh, clock with like um, I don't know a ladybug, ladybird, like 
clasp over the top. Oh, I've got to deal with that bloody noise. And there's another one on a chain. It says made in China on the back, so it's not. Shut up! Got an old letter opener. I think this might be Bakelite or Cellulite. You can tell it's got like a dog head on the top. Oh, that bloody watch. Oh, thank you. I'm going to knock it now. Some bits of jewellery in here. There's like a clasp. I think it might be a cloak clasp. It's got two like pincers on one side. And a bit of chain in between. Got a nice brooch there. And on the back it says... Exquisite. Exquisite brooch. I'm guessing it's vintage because it's in with the stuff. One thing about this kind of stuff, dude, uh, guys, is... Um, at least I know that it's genuine vintage stuff. Um, you know, sometimes you get it from a charity shop, you get it from a car boot, you don't know. But I know that this is from my mate's house. It's It's been in his drawers. He's, he, I saw him pull it out of the drawers. So I know it's vintage. I know it's, it's if it says 1920, it is 1920s. Um, and I've done really well on a lot of the stuff. There's another one, like a, a brooch which says Miracle. These are all costume jewellery, but it's vintage costume jewellery. So I think it's like a horn of plenty, by the looks of it, like a trumpet of some kind. And there's another one here. This does have a name on it on the side, but I can't make it out without magnifying glass. But yeah, it's got like a little stone in the centre and a sword through the shield. Uh, so I think I'm going to do all right with this lot. Uh, this one has no mark on it, but it's just like three stones in a heart with a crown on it. Yeah, I can't find any name on this one at all. Uh, but I will look hard later on. And uh, yeah, I think we're about to the end of it. I've got some sewing bits, um, some buttons. Um, I usually bundle up all the sewing stuff together. So yeah, sorry about that guys if it's a bit long, but it's really interesting to me. Uh, that's the first time I've been through it properly, but I will uh, have a good look through uh, eBay and, and search everything up. But like I say, if you if you know of anything or you can help me out with anything, uh, really, really um, appreciate it. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'm Bob, goodbye for now.